Hey guys. Okay, so today I am alone, so I get to be as loud as I want! Yeah, that got rid of you. My cat was pestering me, so... Anywho... Sorry about that outburst, you guys. I couldn't help myself. <laughs> um... Hmm... Okay, so today I'm gonna be doing Gigi's first anime review! Uh, hopefully I can get this done in one take, because I kind of have to go somewhere. Hence why I kind of look put together today. Who knew? <laughs> um. So. Today the anime I'm going to be reviewing is Kuragehime. And in English, that means Princess Jellyfish! <gasps> what? Yeah, it is so cute. I laughed so hard watching that show. I just, it's ridiculous. It's so funny and I feel so connected to Tsukimi and Kuranosuke, to both of them. Just, just, yeah. Basically, I don't want to spoil anything for anyone in case like there's someone watching this video who is looking to watch the series and hasn't seen it yet. Um, basically, it's about a bunch of socially reclusive otakus who hate men, and they help one of the people write manga, like help them like illustrate the manga, like boys love. Then they meet this person, this lovely, beautiful person who takes them on wonderful, amazing, hilarious adventures. It's just fantastic. That's all I gotta say. Um, I watched it on Hulu. You can find it on Hulu in Japanese, and I think they have it in English, too. Don't watch it in English, people. I mean... I can't make you do anything, but I highly recommend watching it in Japanese with the English subtitles. I mean, the voices are just so cute, and they're just so awesome. And in English, they just sound so lackluster, and just so, like, they're ugh, trying too hard, and it's like, like vomit. Word vomit. But I'm not going to try to go off on that tangent. Um, anywho. Yeah. So that's pretty much it for that review. I loved it. I, it's very rare for me to find an anime that I love, 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 love. But it's time for the downsides. Without giving anything away. I kind of don't like how quickly it ended. It left a lot of loose ends with the ending, and it was very abrupt and very short. I would have loved to have seen a second season. I would have loved to have seen more episodes, more antics, <laughs> things like that. I would have loved to have seen the one person you're supposed to hate in there. I'd have loved to have seen that particular person. Yeah, the music is fantastic. The opening theme song is... Uh, it's a long Japanese title, and it's by Chatmanchi. I'm gonna write the title and the band name down here, because uh, I just, in case anyone else feels the same way and really likes it, I just, I adore it. And the ending theme as well is, yeah, I love it! The ending theme just fills me with such unmitigated joy and happiness. And then I looked up the lyrics and I found out why. Who knew subliminal messaging could be so powerful no matter what language? Um, but the ending theme is by Sambo Master. I think they did a couple, like one or two the ending themes or opening themes for Bleach. So you might recognize them from there. Uh, don't quote me on that though, because I'm not 100% sure. Uh, so yeah! Um, I hope you guys like this review, and let me know. Subscribe's up there, the like button's down there, 
and the comments box, the comment dialog box is down there too, you guys. Please leave me some comments. I'd love to hear your guys' input. Thank you. Bye. Yes, my body is ready for both of them. I'm kidding. I should not, well, I should not have said that. It's an inside joke. Not really.